Happy Friday! Happy Friday! <laughs> hey, Ving, how's hey, it going? Shira. Very good, very good. Happy Friday, and welcome to another Friday night in the Madhouse. I'm Janet. I'm Vinny. We're husband and wife. I guess what you guys know that by now. A um, anybody watching better know that by now. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. good. I'm doing good. Feeling good. It's Friday. Absolutely. It's a three-day weekend for me. I have off Mondays, so that's a wonderful thing. Uh, before we go any further with the show, I just wanted to give a shout-out to our good friend Jack. Jax, you know who you are, down in Florida. You had some good report back um, on a test you had done today. We love you. Yeah, Jack. So happy, girl. You know, I don't want to tear up, but I'm so happy. But anyway, we're going to get into the show tonight. And um, we're gonna, we... We're going to go back in time. We're going to go back in time. Um, we both remember this time when this artist was out. Um, back in the 60s, we were just kids listening to AM radio with... Uh, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah, you right, Such was. bands as Steppenwolf and Jimi Hendrix and uh, The Illusion, Mamas and the Papas, The Illusion, Born to Be By. <laughs> but our guest tonight is uh, a very talented guy. I just had the pleasure of hearing him for the warm up. Um, his name is Tommy Lynn, and he has a show called Diamond One Hot Night, and it's a, a Neil Diamond tribute show, basically. Um, he's amazing. He's here tonight in the studio, and accompanying him on guitar is um, Donnie? Donnie Waller. Waller. Don. I said Don Waller. Don Waller. <laughs> Don <laughs> Waller, because I asked. I Don, hate, Donnie. I hate mispronouncing names, so I had to stop <coughs> and take a minute to make sure I, I had that right. We have a son-in-law, Don, so yeah. we, it can go either way. Don, yeah. Donnie. But uh, before we introduce the guys tonight, I, um, I went online and wanted to know a little bit more about Neil Diamond, because I, I know his songs, and that's pretty much about it. I know he's beloved all over the world because he's just an amazing artist, songwriter, uh, producer. But uh, there's a couple of things. He attended the University of, well, actually New York University, mm -hmm. and he was there on a scholarship for... Fencing. Fencing, <laughs> exactly. Actually, let me, let me introduce our guests first so we, they yeah. can... Uh, they can Because um, he's here. Their, yeah, because he's here. And <laughs> oh, we he's want not to him. Some, we have Tommy Lynn. Tommy. Thank good you evening. for joining Welcome, us tonight. Tom. Thank it's you for so having me. It's so good to have you. I mean, we've It's great to be back in this building. Yeah, you've been here before. Many times. Yeah. And Donnie, Donnie Waller, welcome. My first time here. Thank you. Well, welcome. First time yeah, for welcome. everything, right? Oh, the rookie. You get it tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and don't forget it's live. So when it's live, anything can happen. Anything and sometimes it does. Happen. So we roll with it. And uh, you guys being musicians, you know all too well that whatever happens, we, we happens. do live. That's what we do, musicians. And whatever happens, happens. And you go with it, right? So anyway, we talked briefly in the green room before we, you know, started airing tonight. And local boy. Yeah, local He's boy local from. Boy. Grew up in Deer Park. In Deer Park. Now is that a, now? What, that, there's North Shore, South Shore. What is Deer Park considered? I stuck in the middle. I told you, Deer Park is unlike stuck any other town middle. on Long Island. It's like a little. I don't know. It's like a little city in itself. We know? always thought that about Copeg too. You know, really. Copeg, there's you know there's, there's uh, only one yeah, Copeg. You know. Yeah, it was it was a great place to grow up. It really was. The it's, island was a good place. You know, it, yeah. There's only one Copeg, and, and no most people say it wrong anyway. So you know, Copeg so. they say. Co Copiago. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Copiagi. Or the ones yeah. that say Copeg. Copeg. You say Copeg. Yeah, Copeg. Copeg. <laughs> That's the Italian. Isn't yeah. it? yeah. <laughs> That's what that is. You know. Not hard to uh, no, no, but, but, yeah, but it's all one big Copeg family. Style. It was a cool place to you know, it was a cool place to grow up. It was uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, I have no complaints there, you know, growing up on the island. I had you know I'm not there anymore, but you know, I like I like Long Island. You still on Long Island? You still live on the island. Yeah. Right? yeah. What about you, Don? Um, I grew up in Philadelphia. Yeah. Philly boy. Yeah, I came up here yeah. in uh, 1979 to take advantage of the club circuit that was happening at the yeah. time. And that's when I met Tommy and uh, been here ever since. Oh, so you guys go way back. Oh, we go way I'm back. I'm not going to yeah. say way, way back. Well, <laughs> that it's going to come out eventually yeah, yeah. in the next 50 something <laughs> well, minutes. Uh -huh. and the funny thing, you can know people, you know, being a musician on Long Island, you can know people for years and never have the opportunity yep. to play with them. Yeah. Um, Tommy and I started working together uh, back when I was part owner of a recording studio, which and record, Tommy was singing. Which studio? Uh, it was called Up All Night Studio. Okay. Um, you usually were, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You remember the band Up All Night from years ago? Uh, that was his band. They came from Philly. Okay. Yeah. When well, you okay. said that, that's why it sounds yeah. familiar I knew, to me. I knew it sounded familiar. Yeah. Then I started thinking uh, maybe Mr. that Propway was. Mr. Propway had a studio. That was studio. my 20s, maybe. I was up all night. Yeah. 
Me too. But uh, we had a studio. He came in with a guy named Guitar Pete. He was singing with a band called Gypsy Rose at the time. Mm -hmm. I've known him since then. That was the early 80s. And uh, yeah. we started working together in, in the, the 90s. In the 90s in a band called The Nail Drivers and uh, did clubs. And uh, then uh, Nail Drivers broke up. We turned into a band called Nurse Diesel that I, I still have today. Tommy left. Nurse Diesel a few years ago to start doing the Neil Diamond thing. It sounds like a heavy band, yes? Um, yeah. It heavy. was heavy. When we, yeah, yeah now, but now they've been together so long, they have a catalog of like 500 songs. Yeah, right. which is And they great. could do and like we do a Beatle night, a Rockabilly night, a this night, or that oh, night. You know, they just, got, three of them just... would love to come like out. Um, versatility. Yeah, they, we do a, a pretty steady gig out at O'Reilly's in Oakdale. Um, okay, I, I, then you have a website? Uh, yeah, nursediesel.com. Oh, we definitely will come. But we're not here to talk way. about Nurse Diesel. No, but that's okay. We, <laughs> we just want to know everything. background. Yeah, we, we, we talk about whatever, whatever happens we got to come out. So, you, so you, you, I know you did the, the rock thing for years back in the 80s like we all did. And then you took a little break and had a family. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you came back and you started doing more rock stuff initially? Yeah, sort of but I was like dated to. because I couldn't yeah. do the Nirvana or the Pearl Jam because I skipped that whole era because I was raising my daughter. I figured, let me just, you know, she's a kid. She's a right. baby, you know. Mm -hmm. Let me stay let me home. Be a man. Let me uh, be a man. Well, yeah, I got that old-fashioned thing to me, you know. I go to work, I come running. There in, you, you know? go. You're back to the Italian. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she went to school first grade and I said, all right, let me start playing music again. And then it was like all... Well, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, and I couldn't, I just, you know, I didn't learn that stuff because right. it was different than the Motley Crue's and the this mm -hmm. and that right. from the 80s. It was different music, different, yeah. played different, weird different shit fun. to me. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, me. Okay. Can, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, to no, me, you know. Uh, and uh, But I did it, and then we started the Nail Drivers, which was like a wacky band. We did like everything from like... Uh, Leo Sayer. Leo Sayer, okay. Lou Reed. Okay. Uh, Fabulous Thunderbirds. Stones. Yeah, just great See, stuff. See, I love a mix like that, though. Because in a mix like that, there's, there's something that's going to appeal to everybody in the <coughs> audience. Because let's face it, everybody's a little different. And even though you like <coughs> one particular me. genre of music, you hear all the other stuff, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter. Because it's, as long as they're good songs... <coughs> It doesn't matter. I love that. That's my attitude. You know what? When you do it like that, it kind of puts you in, in, in spots. Like, you know, you hear a song, you're like, wow, I remember. And you put you at someone's house or right. in one of the schoolyards. Yeah. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll know where you are at mm -hmm. some point. <coughs> like he was just going to say, if you do a song good, it's a great song. It doesn't matter what song it is. It's people true. are going to like exactly. it. That's true. I totally you know? agree with you on that. That's what we did with the nail drivers. We did wacky stuff. And then Diesel... We got a little heavy, you know. We started doing like fuel and. Metallica. And if you get enough alcohol in them, Zeppelin sometimes and everything's good. Things started getting loud, yeah. <laughs> right? Well, you my say guitarist that like that Mike Gervasi. <laughs> what? <laughs> my guitarist Mike Gervasi. Hey, Mike! Shout out to you. Likes to play loud. Matter of fact, hey, I just told Vinny the other day I need earplugs at practice because it just. I, 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 we're guitarists. Really That's what we do. I went, and got ear, I went and got earbuds. I mean, it's good loud. Yeah. And good. but the problem was it was so loud, all the mics were be bleeding through my earbuds. Right. I would go home for three days with rings in my ear. Oh, I'll put, I'll put tissue in my ear. I was, yeah. But it's still it good loud. Terrible. It's great loud. It's but, if it's too loud, you're too old. Yeah. I agree you know, with you. I love loud music. I yeah, still me do. too. Uh, he gets it, you know, I'll turn my car on. He's like, oh, my God, yeah, you have the no. stereo up so loud. Oh, so loud. Even, I, even but it's, you know what the good thing is? You know, she's going deaf from all that loud music. So when, when I'm mad, I just mumble something as I walk away. She never hears me. <laughs> but even, even with <laughs> and this I get band. I'm <laughs> paying for it now. <laughs> even with this band, I mean, now it, it's got some punch. We've made some changes. And uh, it's got some bite to it now. Yeah. You know, we play this stuff changes. more like a rock band would. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how did so how did the Neil Diamond thing come along? Then you take a rock guy and now you transition into Neil Diamond. Tell me, tell me how it that actually came wasn't out. hard, man. It was pretty easy. So <laughs> well, you I was doing a gig like one night. Like, John yeah. Marino was there, He's and he goes, like "You know who you sound like?" I'm like, "Who?" And he goes, "Neil Diamond." I'm like, "Get the hell out!" I said, "I just sang Jaded by Aerosmith." You tell me <laughs> I sound like I'm insulted, you know? So we went to his house and he had a studio and we were doing, you know, <laughs> and uh, I recorded it and him and my him and what were you Mark, doing? Mark, we're on the floor, hysterical laughing. I yeah. recorded Hello Tommy. Again. Tommy. Hello, Hello Again, huh? What, what were you yeah, doing? What, what, were you what doing? was the We were having a couple glasses of wine <laughs> or something <laughs> like that, you know. Well, and, the, the the they were doing 80s things. We would do nail biters or nail drivers rehearsals or nurse diesel rehearsals. And in the middle of uh, 
<laughs> waiting to start a song, he'd come out with Love on the Rocks and he'd say, man, I really like to do a Neil Diamond tribute. And finally, here it is, you know, a few years down the road. You know, you, ch you change as a musician as you yeah. get older, times change. I mean, you never lose your love for maybe what you initially did 20 years ago, right. 25 years ago, 30 years, whatever it is. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with venturing out and trying different stuff, especially you're amazing. At, at, I mean, you're you. amazing. <coughs> and and you know what? You, you bring something to audiences that want to see that. I you think know, so. There, there is an audience for it. Not everywhere. Oh, right. definitely. But, but you is. know, I mean, we travel. We do, sure. you know, Dix Hills. We're doing Tomorrow Night again. Now, where we'll is that? We'll talk about well, that. Well, real quick. That's a we'll Five Towns College. It's okay. off uh, Bagatelle Road, exit 50, I believe, the expressway. And, uh, Show starts what time? Show starts 8 o'clock. Tickets can be... Tickets, tickets are sold out. Sold out, sold yeah. Sold out. That's fantastic. It is sold out. Sold out. Second that year says, in a row. Uh, so, yeah, lot. I'm proud of that. And, nice. Uh, Good for you. It's a different type of audience, you know, yeah. different ethnic background, most of them. And uh, it's, well, it's, weird. it's a lot of fun. It's weird going through the change, you know. You it's do a lot of fun. You do that. It's I mean, like, it's a concert. Every, People uh, love it. They're screaming. They're clapping. It's like, you know what it is to go up there and say, love on the rocks, and all of a sudden you start getting applause, <laughs> and like two lines into a song. It's Listen, like, holy cow, he that, is, that never happened to me. <laughs> the man is loved all over the world. I mean, sure. he's been around for a he's long time. Third, he's very talented. the third largest you. selling contemporary artist in the world. Jimmy Buffett. No, Michael Jackson and Bumper Streisand. Okay. okay. Actually, so get, getting back to the trivia, yeah. he was born in Brooklyn, right. and he went to Abraham Lincoln High School, which we talked about. Um, I don't know if they actually... Went to school with at the same Babs. time, but with Babs, with Barbara Streisand, and also Neil like Sedaka. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Babs. You know, we all we all love Babs, and those are you know three extremely obviously. I, I have a Babs in the band. She's great. Really? Well, right. actually, both girls do it. You know, but uh, yeah, they do it well. That's great. Send, uh, you don't send me flowers. Right? That's, That's a show. Too referring to yeah. But, and, hey, uh, you shouldn't be sending her flowers. It's my wife. <laughs> 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 and. Um, he also, wrote, <laughs> he also wrote I'm a Believer, which uh, wrote, the monkeys yeah. wound up doing. And then, of course, it was reborn again in the movie Shrek right. some years back by Sh uh, Smash Mouth. I almost couldn't say and that. And Tommy was saying about uh, I'm a Believer, it was a ballad, It was right? a ballad. It was a ballad. Uh, and they heard it, liked it. I don't know who, who, who it was, but uh, somebody took it and rocked it up a bit. Yeah. You know, and God. then Smash Mouth did it, and I think they made it number one again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm and you sure. know what? He wrote I Red, Red Wine by UB40. Right, exactly. Red, Red, we do right. that also. Right. He wrote that as a ballad. Mm -hmm. He's written you so know? much. He actually now he does it UB40 style. Everything's a ballad. You know? He writes yeah. everything. Yeah, he, no, he's oh, a he's, balladeer. He's, yeah, his ballads he are the and thing, you know? People love him. His, I love his ballads. Now, Sweet Caroline, he was inspired uh, from the cover Kennedy. of a Life magazine that Caroline Kennedy was on when she was younger. And Doo -doo. she was a kid, and he was so sweet. And yeah, that inspired He also. When he was when he graduated high school, or he was in college, or he quit college, I think. Uh, you know, there's just so much stuff I forget it all. Mm -hmm. I'm not that young enough to. Yeah. My computer's already. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. you can't put no more gigabytes in there. Uh -huh. And uh, he gigged out. He was working at a young, very young age in a Brill building, with Carol King. It was a, it was just it was a building I think on 47th Street. Yeah. And it's just a music building. Lawyers, publishers, rehearsal studios. Wow. The building's still so there. Right. The business is there. It's like one of the only Art Deco something. buildings left in the city. It's a historical landmark now. But he was up there writing every day with like Carol King and him and Another Neil Sadaka. Carol King. I don't know how many other writers were in there, you know, but that was the place to be. And oh, everybody was there. Lieber yeah. and Stoller that wrote all the stuff for Elvis. Yeah. And just we'll know more yeah, about would it. Would you love to spend lots of time all in a place like that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. Yeah, you would work there, and you'd make like thirty dollars a week yeah, to yeah. write songs. Yeah, but you know what your life experience, you know. Hopefully. Well, that then, was it. And back yeah. then, back That's then, it. monetarily, the music business was so different. Yeah. You know, it's not what it is now. True. It's such a, it's so much bigger now than it was then. But just There's that kind of so life experience. Yeah, and he, and he, he, he yeah even that, before his first hit, he had a, like a duet with some other dude that he knew. I forgot what the name of it was, but they did an album and. Uh, a song off of that album, which I forget which it is, it could have been like uh, You Got To Me, Something Really Young, mm -hmm. was uh, on that album. He took it over when he started the solo career. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we're, we're going to get into more. And of course, um, towards the latter part of the show, these two guys are going to get up and, and show us what they do, which is really quite are amazing. But Are we going to commercial? Yeah, I, th I think we are. What do you think? I think we have. To. Yeah, we have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hang in there.
This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody was barbecuing, barbecuing, barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Tommy Lynn and Donnie Waller. Hey, you guys. So I have, I have a question. Um, you know, Neil Diamond, um, Tom, who was the singer back in the day? Tom Jones. Jones. Tom Jones, all those guys, Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> Women swooned over these guys, right? You know, whether they were, you know. Women are still swooning swoon, over Humperdinck. Still, yeah. Do women throw their underwear at you? No. <laughs> Never ever? Come on. This Come on. Be... These, they throw them. They're going to need the bank gay afterwards. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're, they're, you know I, we have you don't want to get hit with a pair of those panties. No, I could well, just one thing the sales, you know. Pretend. That they shouldn't be oh, saying. What are they called? Pretend. 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 No, really really seriously. Pretend. It's just. Pretend. No, they don't do that. One time I do have, have an older audience. We do yeah, have an older audience. One time a lady threw a pair of the pens at you. Oh. That goes with the territory. But one thing that does happen, we get to the end of the show, we do Sweet Caroline, he runs out into the audience. We get done the song, the rest of the band's back in the dressing room. He's still outside talking to all the women. Oh, that they came just up. Oh, yeah. Is this real, they tell? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, give it a pull. Yeah, like, give it a pull. <laughs> you know, I just heard it your Philadelphia funny. accent. Did you? Yeah. Come out just it's now. Still, yeah. It does it come comes out. out every and once in a while. And you know what, I'm surprised because yeah. you've been here since 1979. Yeah. 30 some odd years, 34, whatever. 30. Well, there was a that's, time uh, when everybody surprising. here would say, you have a Philly go, accent. Here. And if I went back to Philly, they would say, man, you really yeah, have a New York yeah, accent. Yeah, exactly. So I'm kind of in the middle. You're stuck in the middle, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So um, so now, okay, so you're doing the gig tomorrow. Let's mm -hmm. plug that again while we're, it's at. Dix Hills Performing Arts Center. Uh, maybe there's standing room, maybe he'll add some, you know, I, I, chairs in the front. There's room to put portable, you know, folding chairs. 
I don't know. I'll talk to him. See what come charge saying. the doors, man. I mean, he has on come the website. Come charge the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you Neil Sadaka fan. I mean, Neil Diamond fans. Doors. Come, come <laughs> ram the doors. <laughs> charge the doors. <laughs> They'll be hitting them with their, their little canes. And stuff. Come on, let me in. But it's a fun place to play. We played last year, and uh, they they really appreciated it, the yeah. fans, the people. Oh, you know what? Neil Diamond's great, man. And, He's uh, got great music. Last year was you can't, first You year. can't not have a good night. As plus, I heard you. So you know, believe it or not, yeah, I know, if you come to awesome. see us, there's a good 18, 19 songs that you're going to know yeah. that have of been course, on radio. Yeah. You know, Sometimes that you remember from Ed Sullivan Show, Smothers gonna Brothers, know, you know? Andy Wait, this, that, plus the radio. This, he's, got a lot, he's got a lot of hits. Right. Got a lot of hits. But we, um, we have friends of ours, the Rockin' 45s, and we go to see, actually, we're going to go see them tonight um, at Sunset City uh, somewhere, some, Sunset Grill. Sunset Grill oh, and uh, Seaford. And, and they do. Shout out for the 45, yeah, Sunset Grill and Seaford tonight. Seaford. But they 930, do, 930, we'll Caroline. be there, you'll be there too. And our friend Rich loves that song, so whenever we're out and there's a band that does it, our friend Rich has to get up. You know, it's audience participation, that song, whether you can sing uh, or not, yeah. people just love to get drunk and... Our, and sing along to that song. And Rich is six foot five. Uh, the voice yeah, like no, this, they'll sit, he sings Sweet the, People will sit in their seats and they'll watch us. They'll clap. They'll get up and clap. They'll sit back down. But when the last song of the night, they're just waiting for that song. Yeah. You know, that's, and boom, that's they the get closer. up. They dance in this. Yeah, is yeah, that everybody now, does? Now, it. is that your encore or is yeah, that the last I song? make them wait for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, so that's what Nobody's like that. lighters, though, right? No, no. <laughs> I tried to get them with the phone, the phone thing now, but... Yeah, they don't grasp yeah. too well. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I got, I got the app on my phone. I got the app on my phone with the lighter. You yeah, hit the button, in. it's a lighter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I did for the Rock of 45s. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's, 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 I enjoy it. I really do. It's, uh, it's different than a rock thing. Yeah. I wonder if there's a lot. I mean, a lot of Neil Diamond throughout there's the country quite a few. and stuff. Are there? Because I know there a lot of tribute bands is usually a See, lot. See, it's tough breaking in, but, you know, like we got to Maryland. I'm getting to yeah, Staten that's Island. I'm getting nice. to Jersey. And you were saying during the break, they throw underwear at yet? No underwear yet. No, no underwear yet. yet. No, well, we just that was Tom Jones. Jones. We're aspiring to that. <laughs> but you yeah, know I, I, I know I made it when I get a pair of drawers thrown on my face. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're good, so you can venture out. I mean, you know, even if there are other tribute bands... Your reputation as an artist, as you prove yourself, which you do, because I heard you, well, that's what gets you the gigs. That's exactly. It's like know. with anything else in you. You're doing a rock thing or whatever. You gotta wait your turn. Yeah. Your turn's gonna come up. You're gonna be in. You're gonna be in a place, and a, yeah, he is better than the other guy. Boom. Right. And that's, that's when you get saying. your gig. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, like we got a gig from an agency in Jersey this year, upstate in Chappaqua. Great neighborhood. Bill Clinton lives in Bill and Hillary. Yeah. They Chappaqua. weren't there though, but. Uh, the guy came to see us from Jersey, came all the way to Chappaqua, and he's like, okay, next year I'll give you the Staten Island shows. Those are bigger outdoor shows. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it works. It nice. just, you know, it's going to happen. And you have a promoter? Or we promote it? ourselves. Uh, the theaters promote. Uh, you know, Facebook, What, what about internet. getting the gigs? We have Do you websites. have an agency that does that? We have a couple agents that work with us. Mostly they're getting the summer gigs, though. Okay. They get us mostly the summer shows. Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City's fun. You know? And yeah. that's only a place where a you can... Show. That's only... It only booms in the summer. It's a Sunday night. It's a Sunday night. <coughs> excuse me, but they do tributes there. Mm -hmm. You know, which uh, actually, which place in Ocean City? I love Ocean. Fader's, Fader's Island. Island. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice place. Yeah. I love Secrets. If anybody's been down yeah, to and Ocean I'm working City with Island, a, Secrets is great. And a great guy in uh, Glen Cove, Joe Magnetico okay. Agency, JMA. It's called Joe, Joe Magnetico Associates, I believe. And uh, he does a lot of contemporary bookings. He's going to start booking and stuff. So we're starting up. Good. Putting a new, we just Donnie put the new website together. Donnie does websites. Anybody and needs a website? Don Waller Interactives at AOL.com. Oh no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> DWInteractives.com. I'm sorry. One more time. DWInteractives.com. DWInteractives. He does everybody's websites. He did like really? Twisted Sisters and this and that. Great stuff. Really. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, I've been doing Twisted's website for almost 14 years now. Wow. Wow. Yeah, then he must be so good. I did the first website for WBAB. Um, they since moved on and had corporate redo it, but the first big WBAB.com I designed and built nice. long ago. Wow, mm -hmm. well, that's long interesting time. work, right? Yeah. It's challenging, yeah. but interesting. I mean, there's so many avenues. It, it's in, in funny the, because uh, word of mouth kind of spreads out. I, I did the work for Twisted Sister. Their road manager had a site for his stuff. I built for him. Uh, Joe Franco from the Good Rats heard about it. He's got a recording studio in New York City now. I did his website. Uh, 
and all my friends in bands, you know. Right. Have, well, again, like I said, if you're good at whatever it is you do, whether it be being a musician or building websites, if mm -hmm. you're good, not sure. that you don't have to advertise, but if you're that good, you, you do the work for the first guy, it's word of mouth. That's and right. you don't even have to go knock on doors if right. you're real good, which in your case it actually Listen, like if you do a good job, they tell 10 people. You do right. a bad job, they tell 50. It's yeah, like right. that. Right. <laughs> That's just the way it goes out here, right, man. Right. So do, do a good job. But yeah, yeah but we're, we're still we're putting the, we put the website together. We got the new Facebook page. You know, the band kind of split up. Had a bunch of actually, it's practically a new band. Mm -hmm. You know, so I redid everything, and I was just looking at our demo tape, and I'm like, I'm the only guy on there. You know, out of ten people, I'm the only one left. Right. I, I replaced everybody, so we're doing a whole new. Uh, we're also recording this show tomorrow live. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so we'll have a new video. Oh, nice. and, uh, now, yeah, it's that, moving along nice. for, for the website? Is that what yeah, well, there is video up on the website. We're on YouTube, Diamond One Hot Night. You can go. The okay, website's uh, diamondtribute.com, mm -hmm. diamondtributeband.com. Okay. And we're on Facebook is One Hot Night. You come to my page, Tommy Lynn, friend me. Friend right. my page, don't like my page. And, nice. uh, you know, we'll and they're going to see your performance tonight here, and they can always catch it on the Madhouse Hopefully. TV. In yeah. the archives, it'll always stay. Mm -hmm. Sure. It'll and also be on YouTube. How old is your daughter? 24. Oh, your daughter's 24? Yeah. Oh, you know, the way you talked before, I thought you just recently had a child, maybe six or no. seven. Oh, so your daughter's grown. Yeah. So what does she think? Because she's obviously come to your shows. Uh, and my daughter and my wife both, it's not their cup of tea. Really? But they enjoy it because it's done right. Yeah, and it and sounds you, good. You know. And yeah. I that mean, the band's colorful, dress nice, colors. You know, I come Classy, out my things right. and the band just right. rocks. That is yeah. the, the big question, though. Uh, why? Why are you doing Neil Diamond? Yeah. And for me, I've been in small bands all my life, three, four, five-piece bands. Mm -hmm. And a chance to play with a 10-piece band with a horn section and backup that. singers, it's like, okay, that. I've never done that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot and of fun. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. It's a whole it's different, different sound. Yeah. You know, when you start throwing in a horn section and all that, maybe yeah. some extra percussion, all that, that is amazing. I would love to It's a lot to less that. work yeah, for me because be all of a sudden the guitar isn't carrying everything, mm -hmm. you know. How often do you get together to, to practice? Well, we've just been, we actually not much. We just did three rehearsals in the past two months and broke in three new guys. Oh, that's You good. know, we did about nine, ten hours of rehearsals. Mm -hmm. I just put in a new drummer, bass player, and keyboard player. Nice. Now, are these guys that you've known in the past or all yeah, fresh? Yeah, I could. Ads, uh, you know, agency one of them is uh, Gene Hendrickson. Playing drums, Gino okay, Gene. from yeah, Van from Halen Unchained. Show. Unchained, yeah, okay. Uh, another one's Tommy Dolan, plays bass. Tommy plays Dolan, bass I know with that the Wizard He plays of bass in Nurse okay. Diesel. Nurse Diesel, I played with him years okay. ago. He's still playing with Nurse Diesel. He plays with a couple other things. And a uh, guy named Evo, I can't even say his last name. Keep Evo from Brooklyn. <laughs> Evo from Actually, Astoria. Probably, from Astoria. Via Astoria. Bulgaria. Evo, there's probably okay. only one Evo you know, from Astoria, uh, so very we'll talent, say that name. Very talented guys, and it just... I mean, it could use a little more rehearsal, but it'll get there. Yeah. You know, well, you know it's what? Be great you know, you find when you go live, um, a lot of times everything just kicks in anyway. Yeah. You know, most musicians, when it's the, live, it just kind of comes together. The, yeah. the, the, the weird thing is, with a tribute like this, like because there's not many like this. I mean, you could do the Chicago band, and you could do, you know, the rock band tributes. Those bands have to be perfect, perfect. My band is good. My band is very good. But what I'm saying is when you're doing Neil Diamond, people are really listening to Neil Diamond. Right. So unless the band messes the whole song up, they're <laughs> yeah. not going to like it. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, they're listening to the Neil Diamond. They're listening to the little finger picking in like blue jeans and stuff like right. that. Right, 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 right. Those are things that are standing out to these. You know, don't forget, I, I don't have the 20-year-old rock fan that could take the song apart backwards. Right. Right. Exactly. You know? Yeah, you're right. It's it's a different cup of tea. It's you're it's right. it's a lot easier, but yet, like you said, it's harder because not harder, but it's a little harder to organize the whole thing because it's ten pieces. Somebody's right. hearing aid could be off a little bit, and, and they won't yeah. know the difference. And I don't I know an F sharp from a C flat, so <laughs> I rely on him and uh, everybody see, else in the band. That's me too. Yeah. I know I could find any note. Like you don't even have to give me the starting note if it's you know I don't give I me the note because if you give me the note, I'm not finding it. I know the notes. I don't know what they're called, but I know how to get there fine on my own. You know, I have ears like beer cans. You know, I don't hear things well anymore. That's but okay. You do really well. Well, I we're we're uh, we're gonna take another short break and uh, come back <coughs> with these two guys, Okey and then we can't wait to hear them do their music. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks.
Like so many people, are your finances tight lately? Afraid to open your mail or even answer your phone? Well, take heart. You don't have to live like that. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you can join the thousands of folks who have used safe and effective government-insured reverse mortgages. The government-insured reverse mortgages from Long Island's Senior Reverse Network allow you to stay in your home and turn equity into tax-free cash. Our government-insured reverse mortgages can eliminate mortgage payments, credit card balances, or just improve your lifestyle. Do yourself a favor and solve these problems now. Call the Senior Reverse Network and our advisors will answer all of your questions about our reverse mortgage programs. We've helped scores of senior Long Island homeowners like you who now enjoy a worry-free retirement. Get the financial security and peace of mind you've dreamed about. Pick up the phone and call us at the Senior Reverse Network now to set up a free consultation. Call 1-800-985-REVERSE. That's 1-800-985-7383. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday to 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Hi guys, welcome back. Well, it's, it's still Friday. <laughs> <laughs> all day. We're, we're, all day. St we're still hanging here at the Madhouse, having a good time. Right? How yeah, no, I did have a great time. Great time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here a couple times with uh, Mickey. Mickey. Well, I was here Mickey. once and once in the old studio. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we got a new studio coming. He did his oldie shows. I'm sure yeah. I'll be there, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> One night I'll just throw so, in and you'll be shocked to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I should have my own show. So now when you, generally, when you generally do your shows, do you have a, an opening act? Do you do no. another? This, so it's always just... 90 you? minutes or we do two sets. Okay. Nice. You know. Do 45 I, minute sets? You take a, you take a break? And well, yeah, I'd rather do a 90 minute show. They got to go to the band. <laughs> You're exactly right. That's what the guy <laughs> in Dick Till told me. Yeah. Last, last year we did a 90 minute... Last year we did a two hour show. <laughs> Somebody no, shit that we were over two hours. on the audience of this, of this band. You've beaten these guys. I'm just kidding because yeah. we're all no, no, you're serious. No. <laughs> Listen, when I know all my songs, I play on the oldie station. I'm like, wow, what the hell happened? All my songs. <laughs> yeah, all like the songs I grew up with now are on the oldie <laughs> station. I'm like, I, we're playing in the supermarket. But, yeah. No, but see, listen, with these shows, that's why these people should all wear Depends because they don't need to have a, a show with two sets. There but, you go. But the Depends well, ones do one long show. It's I was good. talking to them right? like two weeks ago. A set of Depends in one of those little car freshers. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> About loading. And I was, it was 3 o'clock loading. Blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, we're going to do one 90-minute set, right? He goes, could you please do two? Two sets, if it's not, you know, if you, it's possible. I'm like, why? He goes, well, he's like, you have an older crowd. He goes, and they have to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> during intermission. Hey, during intermission, you can't get in that bathroom. So I'm like, okay. Line up the door. I'm like, all right, two shots. You know, and two the breaks shot. have to be longer because you have to figure, look, if they all have to, well, a good percentage have to go to the bathroom. Now they move if slow. If there's 500 of them yeah. in there. <laughs> <But> 275, <laughs> they got to use the job. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, they move slow, so you know it takes that much longer. It doesn't matter. They're yeah. waiting for Sweet Caroline. Yeah. That's yeah. bottom yeah, really? line. <laughs> They're sticking around for Sweet Caroline. So you, you never know how many have of them already came with the pens. <laughs> 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 oh, that's what I'm saying. They came. Oh, it was <laughs> two hours last year. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know? And you could do Sweet Caroline twice. <laughs> so now you go into the audience. Well. Well, At the end of Sweet Caroline, I just run out there and I just start <laughs> shaking hands. And I'm like the mayor. I'm kissing women yeah, yeah. and they're, they're trying my hair. And, you know, yeah. I'm not like trying your hair off. Well, it doesn't your, come off. That is your hair. <laughs> it's my hair. That's a whole lot of hair. But then again, back in the 80s. It's, a, it's my hair. I've been blessed with hair. What can I tell you? Yeah. But, yeah, no, I just go greet people and thank yeah. them for coming. That you know, is I, nice. I you think, yeah, I try to do as many as I can. It's nice. It's nice when you get out in the audience. I mean. Well my, well, my wife sings. She's out in the audience singing the whole night, running around. You, you know, she yells, yeah. going crazy. Well, you know, what? It's so. like, you know, we're not playing in a bar, so it's not like $10 to get in. Right. right. So I feel like I owe it to somebody That's to nice. say good night, thanks for coming. You know, and, it and you know, it makes, feel makes a lot of people's night. It, right. it kind of mm -hmm. unites the artist and the audience. And you know what? Everybody leaves singing, well, good guy, good show. It's uh, friendly enough that they want to come back and see you again. That makes people feel good. Yeah, you know no. what? That's... Um, I already have a date a for thing. 2014. Or, uh, November 8th will be there in 2014. Nice. So get your tickets because I hope it'll sell out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm hoping yeah, it'll sell out. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, Gary. No, no, no go ahead. Are you, what, so uh, for, the next, for the same place you're doing tomorrow? Yeah, I got oh, a date for 2014. Date. Okay. And this is the first time playing there? No, this is our second time. Okay. Well, I mean, we listen, play every year. We, so far, we're doing it every you're year. Go, you're going you're gonna to pack the place. Yeah, and we'll be back, like I said, back at Suffolk Theater. Hoping to do a couple other shows, locally, smaller shows, you know, in the winter. Well, we'll definitely just be to, there. We'll bring just to do people. something. We'll bring some people yeah. with us. You know, it's funny. I always think um, when somebody does like a tribute thing, and I'm sure these artists at some point you know, with computers the way they are now and everything in the world so universal. I'm sure every now and again, they oh, they probably know about see, them. Yeah, they know about them. How cool would it be? If Neil rang you up and said, "Look, dude, I, I heard you stuff. You're good. Let's it do would. something. Let, it let me would. bring it would you. Be right? fun. That Come be great? I mean, well, look at Mike Del Judas from Big Shot. Exactly. He just went yeah. on the road with, as his support exactly. vocalist. You know, yeah. he's singing Billy Joel. Exactly. Song. exactly. Bet you it's know. funny. I went out to a, a show in Brooklyn, uh, I guess about a month ago. During intermission, I'm talking to this young British kid, and uh, I do a, a gig a, on the Lower East Side on Friday nights, and. I'm like, well, if you're in town, come out on Friday night and see my band. And he's like, well, I'm working Friday night. I got a gig. And I'm like, oh, where are you playing? He said, the Beacon Theater. And I'm like, the Beacon wow. Theater. The Beacon, which is a nice Who are theater, you playing so with? He's yeah. like, I'm the support vocalist for Jethro Tull. Nice. Kid's like 25 support years old. Support vocal. Mm -hmm. The notes that he can't hit. This guy, Because I saw a video of Mike playing at uh, Paramount. He's playing guitar and everything. You know, every once in a while, he's really kind of runs words, out of breath. Really can't yeah. get them song, those words out, you know? That's yeah, funny. that's a But hey, good for him, man. Oh, definitely. You, good for him. So he deserves we're, it. We're probably going to take a break in a little bit, and you guys are going to play, you know, live here for us at Acoustic sure. Set. Um, Vinny's, before, doing the, Vinny's doing the support vocals, I think, too, on that. I, I, I think I'm going to do some support vocals with you. When I run out of breath. But before yeah. we go yeah, anywhere, we don't want that. We got to mention, mention uh, Mike Cabino. Mike Cabino. Right, we got and well, we got to mention Danny Drasser. Danny, God rest his soul. These are Eddie. these are these are mutual friends of ours. Diane. You know, you remember Greg, Diane Greg Giles? Sure, <laughs> sure. Greg Giles or Jay Giles? Wait, um, Greg, Greg, what Greg, you say? Giles. <laughs> Greg Giles. Uh, Greg Giles. Wow. Yeah, it's these a small world, world, isn't it? Uh, yeah. world, I see. I see Eddie all the time. Yeah, well, we grew up in that, we hung out hard, me and Eddie, uh, in uh, in Copeg. You know, Michael lived at my house. My mom was That's his what mom. He was telling me. Yeah, That's we what he was we, we go me. back a long way. Michael's great, you know. He, I saw Michael. Uh, when did I see Michael? Danny last? used to play the I drums. Him, I saw him in February. I think Danny used to play. Danny played drums. Yeah. Does he still play? Danny passed away. Oh, Danny passed. Yeah, away. no, Eddie's alive. Eddie's still. That's right. Yeah, I see Eddie still. Wow. Well, Eddie why don't, don't uh, Eddie used to play, babe. babe? Why don't we take a very quick break so these guys can get on the stage, set up, and then we can bring you their music, sure. which uh, I can't wait to hear. Yeah. So we'll be right back. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. 
widely used in Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies' Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. And we're back in the madhouse. Yes, we're back. We're back. And right now, live, we're going to have Tommy Lynn and... And who, me? Don Mola. Don, Don Mola, Mola, man. Do their stuff. So but I like, I like coming back like this. This is nice. Yeah, he likes it. He Thanks, Tom Mealy. All right, you guys, take it away. Love on the rocks Ain't no surprise Pour me a drink And I'll tell you some lies Got nothing to lose So you just sing the blues For a while Gave you my heart, dear God, I give you my soul. Left me alone here with nothing to hold. Yesterday's gone. Now all I want is a smile. First they say they want you See how they really need you Suddenly you find you're out there Walking in a storm When they know they have you Then they really have you Nothing you can do or say You got to leave, just get away we all know the song Need what you need Say what you want Not much you can do When the feeling is gone Maybe blue skies above But it's cold When your love's on the rocks They say they want you See how they really need you Suddenly you find you're out there Walking in a storm When they know they have you 
nothing they really have you nothing you can do or say you got to leave just get away we all know the song mr don waller They say they want you See how they really need you Suddenly you find you're out there Walking in a storm When they know they have you Then they really have you Nothing you can do or say You got to leave Just get away we all know the song. Love on the rocks. Ain't no surprise. Pour me a drink. I'll tell you some lies. Yesterday's gone. Now all I want is a smile. Thank you. Beautiful. I got to tell you, this is like our first time we're doing acoustic songs. Yeah. Beautiful. You know, I called them this morning. I said, what songs do you want to do today? Surprise me. Pick them. Beautiful. Like, I was Beautiful. trying hard, but I couldn't get my panties off. <laughs> 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 All right, what do you want to do next? You want to pick it up? You guys remember this one, right? Yep. This, uh, see, when we do his stuff, each night when we play, he's been around for how many years? 40 years? And his vocal styles have changed. Every year he does a different rendition of a song. This one here is going to be from like 2008. Money talks. You don't sing and dance and you don't walk. Long as I can have you here with me. I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans, yeah. And honey sweet Oh, it ain't nothing next to baby's treats If you pardon me, I'd like to say We do okay Forever in blue jeans, yeah Maybe tonight Maybe tonight By the fire all alone You and I There's nothing around but the sound of my heart and your sighs. Money talks. Oh, it don't sing and dance and it don't walk. If there's one thing I just got to say, we do okay. Forever in blue jeans, yeah. And honey sweet But it ain't nothing next to baby's treats If you pardon me, I'd like to say We'll do okay Forever in blue jeans, yeah Maybe tonight Maybe tonight By the fire all alone You and I There's nothing around but the sound of my heart in your size. Let me hear you now, let me hear you now, let me hear you now. Money talks, but it don't sing and dance in its own walk. If there's one thing I just got to say, 
We do okay. Forever in blue jeans, yeah. Yeah. And honey sweet. Oh, it ain't nothing next to baby's treats. If you pardon me, I'd like to say we do okay. Forever in blue jeans, yeah. Blue jeans, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Waiting for the drums, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Acoustic is sweet, though. Okay. Oh, it is nice. It's yeah. A, it's a, we should do this on Friday. Yeah. Saturday, so really. You know what? You, and you could. <laughs> Look at the money you'd save. <laughs> and the band 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 too. <laughs> this is an old one. This was like you, when you were a kid, you know, you saw him doing this on Ed Sullivan back in the early 60s. <laughs> Melinda was mine till the time that I found her. Holding Jim. Loving him Then Sue came along Loved me strong That's what I thought Me and Sue That died too You remember this one, right? Don't know that I will But until I can find me The girl who stay and won't play games behind me I'll be what I am Solitary man Solitary man I've had it to hear Being where Love's a small world Part-time thing Paper ring See, you're smiling, you make me smile I know it's been done having just one girl who loves me. This happens all night when we play. Right or wrong, weak or strong. Don't know that I will, but until I can find me, the girl that won't stay and won't play games behind me. I'll be what I am Solitary man Solitary man Don't know that I will But until I can find me The girl that won't stay And won't play games behind me I'll be what I am Solitary man Solitary man Ooh. Solitary man Ooh. Another one from the early 60s. This is one of his, you know, his three big first hits were like this one, that one, and the other one. No, it was this one, that one, and uh, I think it was like Holly Holy came before uh, oh, yeah. Sweet Caroline. I'm I not sure. Right. I don't remember. Here we go. Kentucky Woman. Kentucky Woman, she shines her own kind of light. She looks at me once and again. It's all wrong, it's all right. And I love her, God knows I love her, Kentucky woman, she gets to know you, she gets to own you, Kentucky woman, well she ain't the kind make heads turn at the drop of a name. There's something inside that girl turns me on just the same. 
and she loves me. God knows she loves me. Kentucky woman, she gets to know you. She gets to own you. Kentucky woman, don't want much. The good Lord's earth beneath my feet, gentle touch. And one good thing my life is sweet and good. There ain't no doubt. I'm talking about Kentucky woman. She gets to know you. She gets to own you. Kentucky woman. Don't want much. The good Lord's earth beneath my feet. Gentle touch. And one good thing my life is sweet and good. Yeah, there ain't no doubt. I'm talking about Kentucky woman. She gets to know you. She gets to own you. Kentucky woman. Kentucky woman. Kentucky woman. Yeah. Woo! Guys, hey. nice. you're fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you so you. much. Good job. Good, Good job. job. Donnie, thank you. And Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they nice. first one tonight. I finally got it off. Had anything to... <laughs> it took a while, it's but I got it, it off. All the way off. Somebody's <laughs> naked right now. You deserve it. Actually, you guys are fantastic. This goes up on the wall. There you go. I mean, it's, and it's red. What more can you say? So, um, all right. So, again, here? tomorrow. Tell everybody again. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, eight o'clock. Dix Hills Performing Arts Center, which happens to be at the uh, Five Towns College in Dix Hills off of exit 50, Bagatelle Road, on the Long Island Expressway, okay? And then sometime in January, I don't know the date, but if you go to our website, diamondtributeband.com, or Facebook One Hot Night, you'll see our, our, all our dates. It's sometime in January. We're taking the holidays off because we're we all have family. You guys right? made like it One Hot Night. It's hot in here it's now. It is hot. Yeah. Oh my God, it's well, never been this hot. The lights are here. <laughs> But I want to thank you guys for having us. Oh, you're had a blast. Fabulous. Oh, man, we had a blast. I can't wait to see Call you. me and back. I just, oh, absolutely. I would actually like you to come back on, and I would love to collaborate with you and just, do, yeah, do a little just, something. Yeah. Our voices would sound we'll good We'll do uh, flowers. flowers next time. Let's do flowers. I would like to do I'm a Believer, too, because that's a little yeah, upbeat sure. and fun. Good, sure. Right? There's some good Excuse harmonies me? in that. Yeah. All right. He's got, uh, he's, got, he's got your underwear. He's got to come back. <laughs> oh, those are yours. Okay. Those are mine, actually. I just happen to have them with me. We were going out after this, but... Uh, next week? Change of plans. So next week, um, well, why don't you announce the guests? Next week we have... Uh, uh, Donnie's mic. Mr. Uh, Vargas from uh, the Golden Gloves. You won the Golden Gloves. Golden we have uh, champion, Bobby yeah. the Jack Hammer Campbell. He'll be here. Paul, uh, Mike Colion was supposed to be here. He's going to be weighing in his fighter. These guys are uh, kickboxers. They'll be fighting on the 22nd, but they'll be here on the 15th to talk to us. Tell us a little insight about kickboxing. Uh, it's right. going to be a I'll good be, time. I mean, it's a, a little... big topic. I, I'm a big boxing fan. Right. I've been all my life, and uh, it's going to be a knockout. And I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a little wrestling with these guys, too. So uh, you definitely don't want to miss it. Definitely not. But anyway, I just want you to tell them, again, both your, where they, where you, they can find you guys. DiamondTributeBand.com, uh, OneHotNight.com. Facebook. <laughs> My phone number, but you can't have that. Uh, I want to thank you guys for having us, Madhouse TV for having us down here. Make me a room because I'm here quite often. And uh, we love you, baby. Back. Take yeah. us out, man. Take yeah, us out. Yeah, 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 don't, yeah give us something to go, go out with. Thank you so much, guys. I'm a boy. She can sing this. Only true in fairy tales. I didn't know where I was. Meant for somebody else, but not for me. Our love was out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face. 
Whoa. Now I'm a believer and not a trace. I'm telling my mind.